The last two things I'm going to discuss today is book care now. Book care is very important, especially in summer. When you are at CPA sites like this, always wear clothes in shoes. Is my offsider. Yep, clothes in shoes. Um, make sure that if anything falls or drops on your foot, that you you are protected um, and that you're not going to have water or anything else um, in between your toes. So keeping your feet nice and um, comfortable and dry. So we, I can't show you a foot now on screen, but, but, but these shoes that Rosie has got on, what shoes are they? They are um, canvas shoes, closed in canvas shoes, which are very comfortable, I might add, but they're closed in. So, so, please, if you are at a CPA site like this, closed in footwear, now I'm going to tell you about how to look after your feet. If you are in a public shower, wear thongs, because that's how you can get at least foot. Is my offsider. That is very true. Um, it can happen to parents and kids um, if that happens, and especially if someone else who um, is walking around with no shoes on, which often happens around pools, um, who's had that before. So things can um, um, bugs can infect others who aren't who are walking around with no shoes as well. So make sure you keep your thongs on. So. If you are going to the pool, um, before you go, buy a pair of thongs or two of them. Okay, good ones, okay? Put them in the back of your car, in the boot, or, uh, or even in the glove box. Here's my offside. That's a great idea. You never know when you're going to need them and um, it's very simple to, to carry and to just keep with you um, so you never know when you might need it. And always take a separate towel with you, two towels, a fresh towel to dry yourself and your feet and between the toes mm. is my offside. Okay. Um, good idea to do that so that you don't spread anything on the, if you're using one towel. And you, you always sort of wrap yourself and, and all that and, and it can dry yourself. But if you choose to go back in the pool again, then um, you need another towel to dry yourself as well. And also, if you need to treat whatever you've got, always Take a, a face cloth with some with some tea tree oil on it in the back. Okay, so if you need to treat your foot at work, put put some newspaper down on the floor. So if you are putting powder between your toes. Make sure that you spread some newspaper. Here's my offside. Good idea to keep your feet dry, um, especially using the, the powder um, as well. And basically, you've got really good, Barry's got really good suggestions for um, um, overall good foot hygiene. And also, never use hot water because it could uh, make the itch even worse. So cool to cold water guys and 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 then and, and then 
if the skin is broken, okay, okay, put some tea tree oil in there, okay, and then put a tissue between the toes to keep it from apart for a few days, and then wear a, some thongs around the place to keep the air at your feet. Is my offside. Um, I've never um, thought about using tea tree oil, but that that sounds like um, a good suggestion to um, help heal the skin um, as well, well as it helps to keep the bugs away in mm. there. Okay, so what well, if you've got some very dirty shoes? Please um, take them off. If you've um, been through a creek and your feet have been warm all day and, so, and wet, that's how this can happen also. Mm. So, so if your shoes are not machine washable, guys, dump them and get a, a new pair. Because the existing pair, guys, may be tick, may be back ridden with tin air and you don't want it to get worse. Or athlete's foot, mm. as we call it here. So that's the book care segment. And the last thing, looking after your toenails. Now, we all know ingrown toenails, guys, ouch, they hurt like, like absolute, absolute crazy here. I've had them because I was wearing tight-fitting shoes, ouch, that hurts. Mm. They do hurt, um, I've had that. Um, before and um, you don't think something so small could hurt, but it definitely does. So, so like I said before, with the school shoes, guys, please make sure that your child can move their feet around in the sh in the shoes. Okay, because this is very important stuff. Is my offside. Mm. Making sure that the shoes aren't too tight and there's air um, around there and that the shoe, the toenails aren't cut too short, um, but just right for for you. So, ne never pick at your toenail. It is very unhygienic. Mm. Is my offside. That is true. Something so close. To the ground, um, you don't want to be picking um, at that, preferably. So, if, so the best time to cut your toenails are when you have a shower or bath, because that's when the nails are soft. Is my offside. Yeah. It's, um, that's right. So when they're soft, you can um, obviously cut them more easily. And it, it is good to do something like that um, after a shower to um, remind you every now and again to be doing that. And, and buy all the nails as well. But if you can't cut the nails yourself, go to a podiatrist. And I'll, Always use a clipper. So what would my offside use? She would use a clipper, I would think. Mm -hmm. And you've got the different size ones for hair nails and also your toenails um, because they're larger. Um, so even that is a, is a good tip to make sure that you're using the toenail clippers for your toenails um, so that they are cutting it at the correct um, size for each toe. 
And now on to the closing segment. <laughs> 